بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to There You Are Episode 4 Ladies and gentlemen And we're here to talk about Lenny Yoro To Manchester United From the lens of a Liverpool fan A.K.A. myself Big up to all of you guys Stop what you're doing right now Hit the like button Subscribe to This is Football if you're yet to do so Hit that like button Subscribe to, 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 to the channel Make sure you guys are sharing the video everywhere And now I want to talk about Lenny Yoro to Manchester United, ladies and gentlemen. It's official. We got the here we go. Everyone, including myself, thought he's going to Real Madrid. And now he's ended up at Manchester United. So let's discuss everything. As you guys know, on There You Are, there's no banter. You know, the agendas and all that stuff is for the Ahwa show and all the other shows. On this video specifically, we're being objective. We're kind of saying it as it is. We're just discussing all the different positives and negatives as I've done with my Dewsbury Hall video, with my Ardera Bio video, and the other videos, make sure you guys go check them out. So, Manchester United announced the signing of Lenny Oro, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, first of all, I I'm saying this from the lens of a Liverpool fan, so people obviously will say, oh, you're just salty because you wanted him at Liverpool and blah, 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 blah. And you thought he's going to Real Madrid, he ended up going to Manchester United, etc., etc., etc. I understand that you guys just assume I'm salty because I'm a Liverpool fan, but there is no salt. I genuinely just will say my honest opinion on the situation. First and foremost, let's start with the player. I think Lenny Oro is a, is a fantastic player. I think the guy's ceiling is absolutely unbelievable. I think this guy could, could hit the heights of the world's best centre-back. You know, not now, obviously, because he's only 18. So a centre-back's prime is around, what, 26, 27, 28? Um, so eight years from now is when he's expected, you know, to hit his probably absolute peak, his absolute best. Whether he'll be at United at the time is, is the question, which we will ask as well later on on this video. But as things stand, obviously, he's a fantastic young centre-back. And there's something that the Man United fans need to realise. First of all, he did not choose Manchester United over Real Madrid. Real Madrid were simply not willing to offer the money to Lenny Yoro and to, to Lille that Manchester United did offer. So let's just establish that straight away. Um, and even a club like PSG who has a whole lot of money, we're not willing to pay the money that Manchester United offered. Now, I'm not going to exaggerate and add, you know, digits onto the number. It's £42 million plus £10 million in add-ons. He's on 115 grand a week, which is still a lot for, for an 18-year-old. So, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of expectations on the guy. There's a lot of pressure on the guy as well. People need to remember he's only 18 years old. He's 18 years old. I don't believe he's even played for the French national team yet. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's okay. I take it back if I'm wrong. But he's still obviously a youngster. He has a long way to go. And people need to understand, even next season, one of the things of a young centre-back is you will be making mistakes. I'll use my own centre-back as an example so people don't get triggered and keep saying, Hussam, you're salty. Kwanzaa. Away at Old Trafford, he made the mistake in which Bruno Fernandes pounced and he scored the goal. Now, obviously, for most of the season, Kwanzaa was fantastic and had a really good season. But there will be mistakes here or there. Simply put, just because he's young, just because he's inexperienced, just because he needs game time. And there's kind of a few questions I want to ask to the Man United fans or anyone watching this right now. First question, if Chelsea made the same exact signing to a player that his contract expires, a summer from now, triple what other clubs were willing to pay. Would you mock them? Because I feel like people are changing their energy. Just because Ineos is a new ownership doesn't mean you just say, yay, well done to everything that they do. I said keeping Ten Hag is a, is a good idea. Go check out that video. It's literally on the There You Are series. I, I said keeping Ten Hag is a good idea, given the, you know, the, the market for managers and all the different reasons I gave in that video. But I'm not just going to sit up here and praise. I don't just praise my own football club all the time. I provide opinions, you know. I give my honest opinion, whether it be wrong, right, whatever it is. You guys let me know in the comment section. But at the end of the day, I fully believe if Chelsea made the same exact move, everyone would have laughed at them, including myself. Lenny Oro's contract expires next summer. And Man United were willing to pay a whole lot more than what Real Madrid PSG, Liverpool, or other clubs interested in him are willing to pay. And that shows me, obviously, they're really desperate for the player. And now this poses the question. We all know Lisandro Martinez is probably going to be the starting centre-back for Manchester United. Now, if you sign Matthias De Ligt, 
or you sign whoever, who's going to be your starting partnership? Because obviously I don't expect Lenny Oro and neither should Man United fans expect for Lenny Oro to be your only centre-back signing because obviously you need players in that position, specifically given the fact that you just sold Kambuala and the fact that, you know, I would expect that one of Maguire or Lindelof leaves. So this makes me think, if De Ligt signs, or De Ligt, sorry, signs, does that mean that De Ligt is going to sit on the bench? Be and Lissandro Martinez and Lenny Oro is going to be your centre-back partnership. That's the part that kind of, you know, I'm not quite sure about. Listen, Man United paid a lot of money, giving the guy a whole lot of wages. And I think that's a sign that he'll probably start next season. Um, you know, he'll probably play a significant role. Now, one thing, as I mentioned earlier on, you must understand, is with a youngster comes mistakes. Now, will he be afforded that time at Manchester United is the million-dollar question. And there's another question I want to pose to you guys. We all know. My football club, PSG, pulled away because Lenny Oro made it clear that it's either Madrid or the highway. Are you worried that Lenny Oro is using Manchester United simply as a stepping stone to eventually make his move to Real Madrid? That's the million dollar question for you Man United fans in the chat. But anyway, I don't want to keep going for too, too long. This is a pre-recorded video, obviously. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you guys are liking. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Lenny Yoru, to Manchester United, 42 million plus add-ons. Uh, you know, 10 million in add-ons. Other 15 grand a week. Will it be worth it? Only time will tell. And we shall see whether Man United fans will be looking back at this video and laughing come the end of the season. Or they will be looking back at this video and saying, yo, Hussam was spitting facts and he's not quote-unquote salty. Anyway, like the video, share the video, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of There You Are.